All right, we got Coach McClellan with us. Let me know if you've got questions in the chat or by raising your hand. Tom, you want to get us started? Yeah, that'd be great. Robbie, thanks. I uh, hope you had safe travels uh, coming down. Just uh, what's the feel you got for your team today and your, your workout on the field and your uh, level of preparation for this regional? Uh, they're really excited. Um, I can definitely tell you that that's probably the nicest ballpark that any of them have ever played in and probably the biggest. So um, it was just a lot of excitement. Um, and, and I think they were all happy just to get back on the field. You know, um, long day of travel yesterday. So it was exciting to to get out there and kind of kind of see where we're going to be playing tomorrow. I'm sure you've heard now that Caleb Bolden, their right hander, is going to be the starter. Were you able to get anything on him before you left? And what have you found out? Uh, a little bit. Um, I know that our coaches are we're kind of all going over it. Um, seems to be a strong kid that I think we got him at 90, 93, kind of two seam action sort of stuff. So um, we'll try to come up with a game plan for him tonight and get with our hitters. So but he's a very talented pitcher um, going through the numbers and he's got really good stuff. And my last thing is uh, navigating through this Arkansas lineup. There's some power up and up and down it. Just your thoughts about what you've got to do from the mound to get through this game. Uh, it's going to take a ton of quality pitches. Um, when you face a quality lineup, they, they really stretch you out one through nine. They can all do a little bit of something. So, um, you know, you can't really take your, your foot off the brake. If, if you have a, a bad lapse of two or three hitters, you're probably down two or three runs really quick. So um, we're going to try to execute as many pitches as we can and try not to let them gain a ton of momentum. Bob? Uh, May Coach, how you doing? It's not nice hey. to see you actually be on the, on the Zoom with you here. Yeah, how's it going? It's going good. Um, hey, Arkansas had to move some guys around in the SEC tournament. Brady Slabs, their first baseman, got hurt. And at, at, they started a little different lineup in every one of those games. Still one of them all didn't have any errors. Um, just wondering how impressed that may, I mean, how impressed you are with that or just what your thoughts are that they were able to do that. And I guess they're, you know, Slavens is going to miss tomorrow too, Dave said. Yeah, you know, it's very impressive, but that's uh, one of the reasons they're number one in the country. They have so many good baseball players, you know, top to bottom. Uh, there's a ton of depth and I'm sure that, um, you know, the guys that come in that don't get as much playing time as, as the main guys expect to do just as well. It's kind of a championship culture that they've built here. So um, I, I'm not surprised at all. They're coached very well and they have a lot of talent. So um, it's just kudos to them and the stuff they do with their program. You know, play a team like Arkansas, I guess even the NCAA tweeted something like calling them Goliath. Yeah. Um, I guess you know what that makes you guys. But uh, I didn't know if you thought about it. It's kind of apples and oranges, but you know, one of your American East uh, compadres, uh, uh, Maryland, Baltimore County beat Virginia in basketball a couple of years ago. The only time a, a 16's ever beaten a one. Is that something you talk to your guys about, uh, uh, I don't know, for inspiration or motivation or anything? No, we know that, um, you know, one of the things that makes our team really special is that we all believe in each other. So we just had a little chat at practice that tomorrow is going to be opportunity, just like every single game that we play. And if we can execute pitches and stay together for, for nine innings, we're going to give it the best shot we got, and we'll see where it ends at the end of the game. And then with you being from Kansas, I don't know if you still have family back there, but are you going to have uh, some some family and friends here cheering you guys on? Uh, actually, my brother, he is um, driving up from Iowa. He lives in Iowa now. So um, he's coming up to Saturday's game. So I haven't seen him um, in a really long time with COVID. Uh, my parents both wish they could come, but my father had a liver transplant a couple years ago. So with all the um, COVID stuff, he's kind of still highly susceptible to it just because his immune system's not too great. So they'll definitely be watching them. Okay, thanks. Hutch? Yeah, Coach, along those lines, I know that y'all weren't able to have like a bunch of player parents and really any crowd at all for your games this year. Are the players going to have a lot of families being able to travel in and get to see them? And is there any more added excitement getting to play in front of them for the first time this year? Yeah, we actually um, we got to play in front of our uh, friends and family the last home series of the year. So um, I think we probably had about 75 people at our, our last home game. And I think we'll probably have 75 or 80 there tomorrow. So um, I know that all the families are really excited to come out here and experience this. And I know our players are, are really excited to be in the be on the big stage in front of their families.
And I know when we talked to you the other day, you mentioned that you had some injuries early on in the season and getting those guys healthy and everything helped. Was there a moment during the season or one particular game or anything where you realized like, hey, you know, this team could be special. This could be a team that, that makes a run for the postseason? Uh, you know, we, we huddled up as a group after the main series where we did not play good at all. And we said for us to kind of make a run at this, we need to go 16 and eight. I think we went 17 and seven in the last 24, 18 and four in the last 22. Um, a lot of it, it was just, just health, you know, um, I, I know our guys believe that we had a really good team as did I, but Sometimes when you're not healthy, things just don't go your way. So we're fortunate enough now to be healthy when we're we're going into the, the biggest games of the season. So it's been it's been really helpful for us that we're healthy. All right. Any more questions for Coach McClellan? All right. All right, Bob, go ahead. Hey coach, I start following you guys on Twitter. And I saw one of the guys, I can't remember who I'd have to look it back up, but he said something like, hey, we're, we're not scared of Arkansas, which, which yeah. obviously, you know, you, you can't be and, and play the game. But yeah, what, what's the balance you strike um, having a healthy respect for the number one team, but also not acting like you're playing the Yankees, I guess, to use somebody. Yeah, you know, it, you know, that was our, I know who you're talking about. That's our senior captain catcher, Paul Franzoni. Um, he kind of sets the tone for our team from a leadership standpoint. Um, college athletics is all about winning or losing. So there's two teams that show up every single day um, and both teams expect to win. Um, so, you know, I think what he was trying to say is that we want to give a good, a good effort and um, we're not afraid of competition and, and we're going to play our game and they're going to play our game and we'll see where it falls at the end of the day. Okay, I'm, I'm good. I hope you're enjoying Fayetteville. Yeah, it's great. We're going to have some barbecue here pretty quickly. So, Do they have barbecue joints up in New Jersey? <laughs> uh, they have one, but it's not too good. So, <laughs> <laughs> Hope he gets some better stuff here. That. Yeah. All right, that wraps up. Thanks, Thanks guys. Thanks, guys.